Uh, Scott, let me start with you. Um, some in his own party. Let's start with the uh, uh, Republican nominee for governor there, um, Carrie Lake. Uh, she lost. She's been promoting these conspiracies about the vote in Maricopa County. Of course, she can fight it on the court. She has not started that process. But her social media is focusing uh, a lot on uh, Bill Gates here. Um, is there a direct link between what we're seeing him uh, forced to do and what she's doing, or is that oversimplified? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, certainly um, you would think some people are believing what she has to say. I mean, my view is if you have something, go to court. And if you don't, shut up. I mean, I, I, I did, most people in the country, we had an election. The winners won. The losers conceded. Most, most places this worked out. Arizona, obviously we've got a different result, so I don't think it's good. I think it's, I think it's unfortunate for the people who were out there trying to do their duty and count the votes, and I hope they're safe. But, uh, you know, broadly... This went okay. Arizona, we have an issue, and I think people should respect the results of elections. Well, on that note, Ron Brownstein, we heard from a number of members of the Republican Party over the weekend, Chris Christie uh, and Governor Sununu, um, even uh, uh, Paul Ryan spoke out, all saying that the party needs to move on from Trump, encapsulating it by just suggesting he, mm -hmm. not even suggesting, by, by saying that, that he's a loser mm -hmm. for the party and that he won't be able to win again if they want a Republican in the White House. What's notable, though, is that they focused on this notion that he keeps losing elections for Republicans and not the morality side of this, not yeah. that he oh, you know, incited and helped to incite an insurrection. What do you make of that message from Republicans? Is it something that you think is a valid one and one that can get more Republicans on board to move on from Trump, or are they missing a key component here? Well, as, as you, me, and Scott discussed on the Friday after the election, it is striking that extorting Ukraine, inciting a riot, trying to overturn the 2020 election, uh, using racist language on a regular basis for seven years, and uh, hoarding classified documents in Mar-a-Lago when not enough to cause a breach, but uh, pushing through the nomination of candidates who proved weak in key states was. I mean, that, that says something about the strategy Republicans have had about dealing with Trump and why it may be more difficult uh, than they now think to separate themselves from him. They have been so deferential through all of those other uh, events because they fear that any alienation of him would depress turnout among his base voters, which they are more dependent on now than they were even in 2016. I mean, one of the things we saw in this election was that even with 9% inflation, uh, deep discontent over the economy, 401k is getting pummeled, Democrats matched or exceeded Biden's margins in the key suburban counties in all of the states that decided the 2020 election. And that means Republicans are even more dependent than they were six years ago on that Trump base to win places like Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And I think that leaves them treading a very narrow path as they try to separate the party from him in 2024. Mm. Scott, uh, as you know, there was that mass shooting Saturday night in Colorado Springs at an LGBTQ uh, nightclub, five people killed. Herschel Walker in Georgia has released a new ad today. Let's play a portion of it. I'm Riley Gaines, a 12-time NCAA All-American. And I'm Herschel Walker. For more than a decade, I worked so hard. 4 a.m. practices to be the best. But my senior year, I was forced to compete against a biological male. That's unfair and wrong. A man won the swimming title that belonged to a woman, and Senator Warnock voted to let it happen. Warnock's afraid to stand up for female athletes. Herschel Walker stands up for what's right. Why is that the message for this moment? Uh, well, it's a huge issue for a Republican base. I assume what the Walker campaign is thinking is, is that they need to keep Republicans uh, engaged in this election. Obviously, they got to get him to come out to the polls one more time. And there were a number of Republicans who voted for Kemp in the ge uh, general election who didn't vote for uh, Herschel Walker. So this is a, a base engagement strategy. And just having uh, been around Republican politics for a few years, I can tell you, this issue right here does engage Republicans, so I, I see why they're doing it. I, I understand the strategy behind it, but to me, it is, uh, it is all about keeping Republicans on the hook to come out one more time uh, in an election where Walker is actually fighting from behind. He got fewer votes, so he's got to get a few more Republicans to the polls uh, on the runoff. 
Just question the timing of it all, though. He's got yeah. a few more weeks in this election, and to do it after a mass shooting just a few days. Um, listen, uh, Republicans, uh, and you, Ron, w would agree in your assessment, Republicans got hurt by some of their leaders' response to the attack against Nancy Pelosi's husband, not really reading the temperature yeah. in the country, and, and now to release this ad has a lot of people raising, raising questions. Thank you so much, Ron Brownstein and Scott Jennings.